Hello, Dr. Jarden here, and today I'm going to talk about a semantic network theory by Collins and Quillian. So what is it and why should we care? Basically, what this is, is trying to understand how it is that humans categorize words and relate them to one another. So this has practical relevance in the present world because this is likely where stereotypes, bias, and prejudice come from, is association between people of different races, nationalities, sex, gender, you name it, and different attributes, whether they be positive or negative. So here's a look at what the model looks like. It's a very basic model of what it could be. So the idea is that it's hierarchical, meaning that everything belongs to the things above it. So living things, everything on this model is a living thing that I drew out. And from there, there's subcategories of plants and animals. And then, for instance, birds and fish are types of animals. And <clears throat> the idea is that it's suggesting that this is the way that we hold information. And to date, there's been some evidence to suggest that this is actually true. So the way they did that is they manipulated how many levels away from the word um it, they would use so for instance they'd ask is a canary a canary that's really obvious so that would be responded to very quickly they would ask if a canary was a bird and because that's only one level away they responded to that quicker giving evidence that in fact we store information like this and they asked if a canary was an animal and it took longer than is a canary a canary and is a canary a bird suggesting that it's further away less accessible than the other options which gave evidence that that might be the case. However, there have been some other experiments too that have suggested that maybe that's not true. So for instance, they asked if a pig was a mammal and that took longer than is a pig an animal. So a mammal is a special type of animal, like not all animals are mammals. So it suggested that maybe this isn't exactly how it works, but it gave a good idea, a good basic theory to start with for how semantic networks are maintained and how they work. I'm Dr. Jarden, and thanks for watching.